OSI is easy to understand and easy to implement model due to its layered and modular approach. Different vendors, people and teams can work together on different parts and then combine them together to form a system. With this approach, one vendor can write software that implements higher layers, for example, a web browser like Google Chrome or Firefox. Another vendor can write software that implements the lower layers to support it. For example, TCP IP software by Microsoft in its Windows operating system like Windows 7 or Windows 10. In this way, Chrome can work on Windows 10 which was not possible without OSI. Because without OSI, Google would have built Chrome following its own standards while Microsoft would have built Windows operating system on its own standards. And both of these proprietary standards would never work together if they were non-standardized under OSI. So in this way, OSI's modular model helps us to build and integrate systems. The OSI model provides a conceptual framework for communication between computers, but the model itself is not a method of communication. Actual communication takes place through communication protocols. Each layer on the OSI model has some protocols associated with it. Some important protocols on physical layer are Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, RJ45, SDH for transmission, microwave, radio frequency and so on. Data link layer protocols include Ethernet, PPP, frame relay and other protocols. Network layer protocols include IP version 4, 6 and routing protocols like OSPF, RIP, BGP and so on. Transport layer has two famous protocols called TCP and UDP. Session layer protocols include SIP, PPTP and so on. Presentation layer protocols are ASCII, JPG, GIF, SSL, TLS and similarly application layer protocols are DNS, DHCP, FTP, PDU, Telnet, POP3 and IMAP. These are only few examples of famous protocols on each layer. There are a lot of other protocols associated with each layer. Similar to protocols, each layer has associated equipment with it as well. For example, hubs and repeaters operate at layer 1, switches operate on layer 2, routers and layer 3 switches operate on layer 3, and firewalls work on application layer and some on transport layer as well. Each layer in OSI model serves the layer above it. Preparing and passing the data by any layer to the layer above it is called encapsulation. It means going from application layer all the way down to the physical layer is called encapsulation. While going upwards from physical layer till application layer is called decapsulation which is the reverse of encapsulation. Whenever moving data between computers or hosts, we can't skip any layer in the OSI model. We always need to go through all the layers to send data over the network. We have to follow the whole encapsulation and decapsulation process in order to transmit the data from source to sync and from sync to source. Sending a message from one computer to another under OSI model is similar to real world example of posting a letter. If we want to send a letter to our friend through post mail, so these are the steps that we need to follow. First of all, we will write the letter and put it in an envelope with our name and the name of the receiver on the envelope. We will then put the envelope in the letter box. In the evening, postman will collect and bring all the letters from our area to the central processing office of the postal service. Letters will be sorted out in the post office. They will put them in different vehicles for delivery to different cities. Our envelope will be delivered to the city of our friend. The letter will be decapsulated again following all the above steps in reverse order and will finally be delivered to our friend. He will open the envelope and read its contents. Although we are interested only in the last step that our friend should read it but we are bound to follow the whole process. We can't skip any step. If we put our letter directly into the mailbox without envelope and wait for it to be delivered, it will never be delivered unless there is some miracle or someone at the postal office is friendly enough to deliver it anyway. But it never happens in the real network world, so we have to follow the proper process. 
There are some real world examples and practical labs for OSI analysis in Packet Tracer, GNS3 and Wireshark on my CCNA course at ATAC website. You can go through them as well. For example, it shows that what happens on OSI model in the background when we open a website on our PC. So just go to aurum.com slash ATAC and then browse here. And then browse here to TCP IP and OSI model, this section of CCNA. So here you will find a lot of resources for your further study. In addition to basics, functions, features, protocols and devices at each layer, it is also important to remember the names of each layer. We can simply memorize them, but since phrases are easy to remember, we can follow these phrases. The first letter of each word refers to each layer in OSI model. For example, please do not throw sausage pizza away. We can follow like physical, data, network, transport, session, presentation, application. And if you want to memorize in the reverse order, you can follow the second phrase as well. You can make your own phrase as well, whichever easy for you to remember. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more and updated videos.